God bless you. Jesus be with you. And may the Holy Spirit guide you. Thank you for tuning in. This is the continuation of the audiobook. The Book of the Secrets of Enoch. We continue with chapter 21. And the cherubim and seraphim standing about the throne, the six-winged and many-eyed ones do not depart, standing before the Lord's face doing his will and covering his whole throne, singing with gentle voice before the Lord's face, Holy, 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 Lord, ruler of Sabaoth, heavens and earth are full of thy glory. When I saw all these things, those men said to me, Enoch, thus far is it commanded us to journey with thee. And those men went away from me, and thereupon I saw them not. And I remained alone at the end of the seventh heaven and became afraid and fell on my face and said to myself, Woe is me, what has befallen me? And the Lord sent one of his glorious ones, the archangel Gabriel. And he said to me, Have courage, Enoch, do not fear. Arise before the Lord's face into eternity. Arise, come with me. And I answered him and said in myself, My Lord, my soul is departed from me from terror and trembling. And I called to the men who led me up to this place. On them I relied. And it is with them I go before the Lord's face. And Gabriel caught me up as a leaf caught up by the wind and placed me before the Lord's face. And I saw the eighth heaven, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Mazuloth, changer of the seasons of drought and of wet, and of the twelve signs of the zodiac, which are above the seventh heaven. And I saw the ninth heaven, which is called in Hebrew tongue, Kuchavim, where are the heavenly homes of the twelve signs of the zodiac. Chapter 22 On the tenth heaven, Arvoth, I saw the appearance of the Lord's face like iron made to glow in fire and brought out emitting sparks and it burns. Thus I saw the Lord's face, but the Lord's face is ineffable, marvelous and very awful and very very terrible. And who am I to tell of the Lord's unspeakable being and of his very wonderful face? And I cannot tell the quantity of his many instructions and various voices. The Lord's throne very great and not made with hands, nor the quantity of those standing round him troops of cherubim and seraphim, nor their incessant singing, nor his immutable beauty. And who shall tell of the ineffable greatness of his glory? And I fell prone and bowed down to the Lord. And the Lord with his lips said to me, Have courage, Enoch, do not fear. Arise and stand before my face into eternity. And the orchestrategy, Michael, lifted me up and led me to before the Lord's face. And the Lord said to his servants, tempting them, Let Enoch 
stand before my face into eternity. And the glorious ones bowed down to the Lord and said, Let Enoch go according to thy word. And the Lord said to Michael, Go and take Enoch from out his earthly garments and anoint him with my sweet ointment and put him into the garments of my glory. And Michael did thus. And the Lord told him, He anointed me and dressed me, and the appearance of that ointment is more than the great light, and his ointment is like sweet dew, and its smell mild, shining like the sun's rays. And I looked at myself and was like one of his glorious ones. And the Lord summoned one of his archangels by name, Pravuel, whose knowledge was quicker in wisdom than the other archangels, who wrote all the deeds of the Lord. And the Lord said to Pravuel, Bring out the books from my storehouses and a reed of quick writing and give it to Enoch and deliver to him the choice and comforting books out of thy hand. Chapter 23 And he was telling me all the works of heaven, earth, and sea, and all the elements, their passages and goings, and the thunderings and the thunders, the sun and moon, the goings and changings of the stars, the seasons, years, days and hours, the risings of the winds, the numbers of the angels, and the formations of their songs, and all human things, the tongue of every human song and life, the commandments, instructions, and sweet-voiced singings, and all things that it is fitting to learn. And Pravio told me all the things that I have told thee, we have written, sat and write all the souls of mankind, however many of them are born, and the places prepared for them to eternity, for all souls are prepared to eternity before the formation of the world and all double thirty days and thirty nights. And I wrote out all things exactly, and wrote three hundred and sixty-six books. Chapter 24 And the Lord summoned me, and said to me, Enoch, sit down on my left with Gabriel. And I bowed down to the Lord, and the Lord spoke to me, Enoch, beloved, all thou seest, all things that are standing finished, I tell to thee, even before the very beginning, all that I created from non-being, and visible things from invisible, hear, Enoch, and take in these my words. For not to my angels have I told my secret, and I have not told them their rise, nor my endless realm, nor have they understood my creating, which I tell thee today. For before all things were visible, I alone used to go about in the invisible things, like the sun from the east to west, from the west to east. But even the sun has peace in itself, while I found no peace because I was creating all things, and I conceived the thought of placing foundations and of creating visible creation. Chapter 25 I commanded 
in the very lowest parts, that visible things should come down from invisible. And a doyle come down very great. And I beheld him, and lo, he had a belly of great light. And I said to him, Become undone, a doyle, and let the visible come out of thee. And he came undone, and a great light came out, and I was in the midst of the great light. And as there is born light from light, there came forth a great age and showed all creation, which I had thought to create. And I saw that it was good. And I placed for myself a throne and took my seat on it and said to the light, Go thou up higher and fix thyself high above the throne and be a foundation to the highest things. And above the light there is nothing else. And then I bent up and looked up from my throne. Chapter 26 And I summoned the very lowest and second time and said, Let Arcas come forth hard. And he came forth hard from the invisible. And Arcas came forth hard, heavy, and very red. And I said, Be opened, Arcus, and let there be born from thee. And he came undone, and age came forth, very great and very dark, bearing the creation of all lower things. And I saw that it was good, and said to him, Go thou down below, and make thyself firm, and be for a foundation for the lower things. And it happened, and he went down and fixed himself, and became the foundation for the lower things. And below the darkness, there is nothing else. Chapter 27 and I commanded that there should be taken from light and darkness. And I said, Be thick. And it became thus. And I spread it out with the light, and it became water. And I spread it out over the darkness below the light. And then I made firm the waters. That is to say, the bottomless. And I made foundation of light around the water and created seven circles from inside and imaged it like crystal, wet and dry. That is to say, like glass and the circumcession of the waters and the other elements and I showed each one of them its road, and the seven stars, each one of them in its heaven, that they go thus, and I saw that it was good. And I separated between light and between darkness, that is to say, in the mist of the water hither and thither, and I said to the light, that it should be the day, and to the darkness, that it should be the night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Chapter 28 And then I made firm the heavenly circle, and made that the lower water, which is under heaven, collect itself together into one whole, and that chaos become dry, and it became so. 
Out of the waves I created rock hard and big. And from the rock I piled up the dry. And the dry I called earth. And the mist of the earth I called abyss. That is to say, the bottomless. I collected the sea in one place and bound it together with a yoke. And I said to the sea, Behold, I give thee thy eternal limits, and thou shalt not break loose from thy component parts. Thus I made fast the firmament. This day I called me the first created. Chapter 29 And for all the heavenly troops I imagine the image and essence of fire. And my eye looked at the very hard, firm rock. And from the gleam of my eye, the lightning received its wonderful nature. Which is both fire in water and water in fire. And one does not put out the other, nor does the one dry up the other. Therefore, the lightning is brighter than the sun, softer than water, and firmer than rock. And from the rock I cut off a great fire, and from the fire I created the orders of the incorporeal ten troops of angels. And their weapons are fiery, and their raiment a burning flame. And I commanded that each one should stand in his order. Here, Satanel with his angels was thrown down from the height. And one from out of the order of angels, having turned away with the order that was under him, conceived an impossible thought to place his throne higher than the clouds above the earth that he may become equal in rank to my power. And I threw him out from the height with his angels, and he was flying in the air continuously above the bottomless. Chapter 30 On the third day, I commanded the earth to make grow great and fruitful trees, and hills and seed to sow. And I planted paradise and enclosed it and placed as armed guardians flaming angels. And thus I created renewal. Then came evening and came morning, the fourth day. Wednesday, on the fourth day, I commanded that there should be great lights on the heavenly circles on the first uppermost circle, I placed the stars, Cruno, and on the second, Aphrodite, on the third, Ares, on the fifth, Zeus, on the sixth, Hermes, on the seventh, Lesser Moon, and adorned in it was the Lesser Stars. And on the lower I place the sun for the illumination of day, and the moon and stars the illumination of night, the sun that it should go according to each animal. Signs of the Zodiac. 12. And I appointed the succession of the months and their names and lives, their thunderings and their hour makings, how they should succeed. Then evening came and morning came the fifth day. Thursday, on the fifth day, I commanded the sea that it should bring forth fishes and feathered birds and many varieties and all animals creeping over the earth, going forth over the earth on four legs and soaring in the air, male sex and female, and every soul breathing the spirit of life. 
And there came evening and there came morning the sixth day. Friday on the sixth day. I commanded my wisdom to create man from seven consistencies. One, his flesh from the earth. Two, his blood from the dew. Three, his eyes from the sun. Four, his bones from the stone. Five, his intelligence from the swiftness of the angels and from cloud. Six, his veins and his hair from the grass of the earth. Seven, his soul from my breath and from the wind. And I gave him seven natures to the flesh hearing the eyes for sight, to the soul smell, the veins for touch, the blood for taste, the bones for endurance, to the intelligence, sweetness, enjoyment. I conceived a cunning saying to say, I created man from invisible and from visible nature. Of both are his death and life, an image. He knows speech like some created thing, small in greatness and again, great in smallness. And I placed him on earth, a second angel, honorable, great and glorious, and I appointed him ruler to rule on earth and to have my wisdom. And there was none like him of earth of all my existing creatures. And I appointed him a name from the four component parts, from east, from west, from south, from north. And I appointed for him four special stars and I called his name Adam and showed him the two ways the light and the darkness and I told him this is good and that bad that I should learn whether he has love towards me or hatred, that it be clear which in his race love me. For I have seen his nature, but he has not seen his own nature. Therefore, through not seeing, he will sin worse. And I said, after sin, what is there but death? And I put sleep into him and he fell asleep. And I took from him a rib and created him a wife that death should come to him by his wife. And I took his last word and called her name mother. That is to say, Eva. Chapter 31. Adam has life on earth. And I created a garden in Eden in the east that he should observe the testament and keep the command. I made the heavens open to him that he should see the angels singing the song of victory and the gloomless light. And he was continuously in paradise and the devil understood that I wanted to create another world because Adam was Lord on earth to rule and control it. The devil is the evil spirit of the lower places. As a fugitive, he made Sotana from the heavens as his name was Satanel. Thus, he became different from the angels, but his nature did not change his intelligence as far as his understanding of righteousness 
and sinful things. And he understood his condemnation and the sin which he had sinned before. Therefore, he conceived thought against Adam. In such form, he entered and seduced Eva, but not touched Adam. But I cursed ignorance. But what I had blessed previously, those I did not curse. I cursed not man, nor the earth, nor other creatures, but man's evil fruit and his works. Chapter 32. I said to him, Earth thou art. And into the earth whence I took thee, thou shalt go. And I will not ruin thee, but send thee whence I took thee. Then I can again take thee at my second coming. And I blessed all my creatures, visible and invisible. And Adam was five and a half hours in paradise. And I blessed the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, on which he rested from all his works. Chapter 33. And I appointed the eighth day also, that the eighth day should be the first created after my work, and that the first seven revolve in the form of the seventh thousand, and that at the beginning of the eighth thousand there should be a time of not counting endless with neither years nor months nor weeks nor days nor hours and now enoch all that i have told thee all that thou hast understood all that thou hast seen of heavenly things all that thou hast seen on earth and all that I have written in books by my great wisdom, all these things, all have devised and created from the uppermost foundation to the lower and to the end. And there is no counselor nor inheritor to my creations. I am self-eternal, not made with hands. And without change. My thought is my counselor. My wisdom and my word are made. And my eyes observe all things how they stand here and tremble with terror. If I turn away my face, then all things will be destroyed. And apply thy mind, Enoch. And know him who is speaking to thee. And take thou the books which thou thyself hast written. And I give thee Samuel and Regil. Who led thee up. And the books. And go down to earth and tell thy sons all that I have told thee. And all that thou hast seen. From the lower heaven up to my throne and all the troops. For I created all forces and there is none that resisteth me or that does not subject himself to me. For all subject themselves to my monarchy and labor for my sole rule. Give them the books of the handwriting and they will read them and will know me for the creator of all things and will understand how there is no other God but me. And let them distribute the books of thy handwriting, children to children, generation to generation, nations to nations. And I will give thee, Enoch, my intercessor, the archistrategy, Michael, 
for the handwritings of thy fathers, Adam, Seth, Enos, Canaan, Mahalalel, and Jared, thy father. Chapter 34. They have rejected my commandments and my yoke. Worthless seed has come up, not fearing God, and they would not bow down to me, but have begun to bow down to vain gods and denied my unity, and have laden the whole earth with untruths, offenses, abominable leecheries, namely one with another, and all manner of other unclean wickedness which are disgusting to relate. And therefore, I will bring down a deluge upon the earth and will destroy all men. And the whole earth will crumble together into great darkness. Chapter 35. Behold, from their seed shall arise another generation, much afterwards, but of them many will be very insatiate. He who raises that generation shall reveal to them the books of thy handwriting, of thy fathers, to them to whom he must point out the guardship of the world, to the faithful men and workers of my pleasure who do not acknowledge my name in vain. And they shall tell another generation, and those others having read shall be glorified thereafter more than the first. Chapter 36 Now, Enoch, I give thee the term of thirty days to spend in thy house, and tell thy sons and all thy house, that all may hear from my face what is told them by thee, that they may read and understand how there is no other God but me, and that they may always keep my commandments and begin to read and take in the books of thy handwriting. And after thirty days, I will send my angel for thee, and he will take thee from earth from thy sons to me. Chapter 37. And the Lord called up one of the older angels, terrible and menacing, and placed him by me, in appearance white as snow, and his hands like ice, having the appearance of great frost. And he froze my face, because I could not endure the terror of the Lord just as it is not possible to endure a stove's fire and the sun's heat and the frost of the air. And the Lord said to me, Enoch, if thy face be not frozen here, no man will be able to behold thy face. And the Lord said to those men who first led me up, let Enoch go down on to earth with him you, and await him till the determined day. And they placed me by night on my couch. And Methuselah, expecting my coming, keeping watch by day and by night at my couch, was filled with awe when he heard my coming. And I told him, let all my house come together, that I tell them everything. Chapter 39. O oh, my children, my beloved ones, hear the admonition of your father as much as is according to the Lord's will. I have been let come to you today and announce to you, not from my lips, but from the Lord's lips, all that is and was and that is now and all that will be till judgment day. For the Lord has let me come to you. You hear, therefore, the words of my lips of a man made big for you. 
but I am one who has seen the Lord's face. Like iron made to glow from fire, it sends forth sparks and burns. You look now upon my eyes, the eyes of a man big with meaning for you. I have seen the Lord's eyes shining like the sun's rays and filling the eyes of man with awe. You see now, my children, the right hand of a man that helps you. But I have seen the Lord's right hand filling heaven as be helped me. You see the compass of my work like your own, but I have seen the Lord's limitless and perfect compass, which has no end. You hear the words of my lips as I heard the words of the Lord, like great thunder incessantly with hurling of clouds. And now, my children, hear the discourses of the Father of the earth, how fearful and awful it is to come before the face of the ruler of the earth, how much more terrible it is and awful it is to come before the face of the ruler of heaven, the controller of the quick and dead, and of the heavenly troops who can endure the endless pain. Chapter 40. And now, my children, I know all things, for this is from the Lord's lips, and this my eyes have seen from beginning to end. I know all things and have written all things into books, the heavens and their end, and their plentitude, and all the armies and their marchings. I have measured and described the stars, the great countless multitude of them. What man has seen their revolutions and their entrances, for not even the angels see their number, while I have written all their names. And I measured the sun's circle and measured its rays, counted the hours. I wrote down too all things that go over the earth. I have written the things that are nourished and all seed sown and unsown, which the earth produces and all plants and every grass and every flower and their sweet smells and their names, and the dwelling places of the clouds, and their composition, and their wings, and how they bear rain and raindrops. And I investigated all things and wrote the road of the thunder and of the lightning, and they showed me the keys and their guardians, their rise, the way they go. It is let out in measure gently by a chain lest a heavy chain and violence it hurled down the angry clouds and destroy all things on earth i wrote the treasure houses of the snow and the storehouses of the cloud and the frosty airs and i observed their seasons key holder he fills the clouds with them and does not exhaust the treasure houses and I wrote the resting places of the winds and observed and saw how their key holders bear weighing scales and measures. First, they put them in one weighing scale, then in the other, the weights and let them out according to the measure cunningly over the whole earth, lest by heavy breathing they make the earth to rock. And I measured out the whole earth, its mountains and all hills, fields, trees, stones, rivers, all existing things I wrote down. The height from the earth to the seventh heaven and downwards to the very lowest hell. And the judgment place and the very great open and weeping hell. And I saw the prisoners are in pain, expecting the limitless judgment. 
And I wrote down all those being judged by the judge and all their judgments, sentences, and all their works. Chapter 41. And I saw all forefathers from all time with Adam and Eva. And I sighed and broke into tears and said of the ruin of their dishonor. Woe is me for my infirmity and for that of my forefathers and thought in my heart and said, blessed is the man who has not been born or who has been born and shall not sin before the Lord's face that he come out not into this place nor bring the yoke of this place. Chapter 42 saw the key holders and guards of the great gates of hell standing like great serpents and their faces like extinguished lamps and their eyes of fire, their sharp teeth. And I saw all the Lord's works, how they are right. While the works of man are some good and others bad and in their works are known those who lie evilly. End of chapter 42. We have just covered chapters 21 through chapter 42 of the book of the secrets of Enoch. I will pick up and continue with more of the book of Enoch. Continue to study and find the word of God for yourself. God has places for you to go. God has a word for you to spread and share throughout this entire world. Keep your faith and remember, plan strategically for your life. Our life was strategically planned for you. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. God be with you. Jesus loves you. And may the Holy Spirit guide you all the days of your life. Amen, amen, and amen.